Breaking news now involving the gas shortage. Within the last hour, the Colonial Pipeline restarted operations following the cyber attack that cut supply to much of our area. But we are told it will take days, several days, for the supply chain to return to normal. In the meantime, it's a common sight, plastic bags over gas pump handles and long lines of vehicles waiting to fill up. We have team coverage in Hampton Roads and on the Outer Banks. Let's start with Alex Littlehales in Virginia Beach tonight. Alex. Hey David, well so many gas stations across the Virginia Beach area have the same story. Cars driving into the parking lots and then leaving immediately after because what they're seeing is something like this out of gas signs and taped off fuel pumps like you've mentioned and it's few and far between where people can actually find gas in this area. But when they do, something they could be seeing is higher prices at the pump. It's gas stations galore along Holland Road and Virginia Beach. But there's only one problem. There's no gas. I guess what I didn't expect, and maybe I should have with the toilet paper run, was that we would have a gas run now. Supply has overtaken demand for fuel in Hampton Roads. Gas pumps along the East Coast and across Virginia are running dry. But you had so many more people coming in on Monday and Tuesday for gas that you ran out faster. According to AAA Tidewater, gas prices in Virginia have risen by 10 cents a gallon. And here in Hampton Roads, 12 cents. That is, if you can find it in the first place. So I started in Suffolk this morning. Now I made my way here in Chesapeake and uh, I've been to about eight different stations. Zach Herndon makes truck deliveries out of Richmond. He's thankful to fill his tank at this Wawa because by early morning, many stations already out of service. Trying to maneuver through all this traffic and everything, it's crazy. You see people almost hitting each other left and right. They were getting the gas two times, three times, and I, I never think so in my whole history. This gas station owner says he ran out of gas Monday with lines half a mile long around his store. This demand for gas, something not ever seen by Holly Dalby with AAA Tidewater. We're actually creating part of the shortage. Now, like you saw, we did see some people actually getting lucky with gas at various Wawa's throughout the Virginia Beach area. But when you check the gas tracking app Gas Buddy, you'll see that that's not the normal. So many stations in our area affected by this shortage. In Virginia Beach, I'm Alex Little Hales, 13 News Now. And nationally, gas prices have risen about four cents a gallon.